Hi everyone, I'm Sam Ross, and today I'm going to talk about using acoustics to monitor biodiversity across scales. So I'm going to be talking about acoustic monitoring of the soundscape, which is the set of all observable sounds in an ecosystem. So the soundscape consists of three main components, the first being biophony, which is all vocalizing animals, like these birds. Next is geophony, which is all natural but non-biological sounds like wind and rain. Finally, we have anthropophony, which is all human-related sounds like this aeroplane. We're talking about passive acoustic monitoring, which means that we put the recorder out and we leave it in place. Uh, which has lots of benefits, but today I'm going to focus on scalability. So I'm going to transport you to the subtropical island of Okinawa, which is to the south of mainland Japan in the Ryukyu archipelago. People always ask me, why Okinawa? Well, when you live in Ireland, uh, Okinawa is a pretty nice place to be. Um, but more importantly, there's a really strong rural to urban gradient with more than a million people living in Okinawa, mainly uh, uh, in the south. Uh, in these blue urbanized areas. And so we record for 10 minutes out of every 30 minutes across uh, 24 field sites that are representative of Okinawa's full range of, of different land cover types, which means that right now that we have um, more than 300,000 hours of continuous audio data. So to put that into perspective, if I wanted to listen to it all back to back, it would take me 34 continuous years. And we can get uh, ecologically useful information from the soundscape because species signal their presence at a given time and location, and they occupy different uh, frequencies, these so-called acoustic niches. So here are some birds singing at different times and for different durations and at different frequencies. And we can use uh, this data to extract information on species dynamics from the soundscape. So here's every time the uh, ruddy kingfisher uh, calls during a two week period in summer of 2016, starting at the center. Uh, days are advancing as we move out from the center and it's 24 hour clock. So we've got midnight at the top here and midday at the bottom. Uh, and the size of the bubble just represents the number of calls detected. Um, and the main thing I want you to, to take away is that we can see patterns emerging. Most of these calls of this species at this site are between five and seven in the morning. And we did this for five different species with a range of habitat sensitivities across sites. And we found that the rarer species were not detected in our more urbanized sites. So maybe we're seeing uh, some effect of land cover here when we look uh, at, at the between sites, the across site scale, the island wide scale. But it's not just individual species we're, we're interested in. We can also use so-called acoustic indices to measure different aspects of the soundscape. So for example, we can compare the ratio of uh, biological to anthropogenic sounds, which typically occur at the lowest frequencies here. You can see the, uh, the imprint of, of anthropogenic sound there. And we use uh, these acoustic indices to detect patterns across temporal scales. So this is two and a half years separated into these uh, 10 minute chunks. And here the lighter colors are these uh, biological sounds. Um, so, for example, we can see the, the dawn chorus in the morning when all the birds start to sing and how it shifts throughout the seasons. And we can also see these really bright patches of biological sound during the summer that are attributable to these cicadas. Now we're using acoustic indices to detect the effects of typhoons and these extreme weather on uh, species and soundscapes. We're finding lasting typhoon impacts on individual species, but this is all still work in progress. So with that, I want to thank everyone I've worked with on these projects. And uh, hopefully you've seen that we can use acoustic monitoring to detect patterns across temporal scales from seconds to years, uh, from across spatial scales, including multiple sites and ecological scales from species up to whole soundscapes. Thank you.